Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinity Vision platform. This session is all about giving you the in-depth knowledge of what Physics J main paper was all about on 24th of Jan 2023 in Shift 1. So let us begin with our analysis of the paper. As you can see, uh, we have given the marking of the level of difficulty of the paper out of fives. So that means if it is easier, so it is uh, the, the, the marking is less than 2.5. If it is moderate, so it is it ranges from 2.5 to 3. And if it is difficult, so that means the it is above three so as you can see the mathematics portion was somewhat difficult in comparison to chemistry which has got 2.3 marks which is quite easier and in comparison to the uh, physics it uh, physics paper was it ranged from easy to moderate so it has got 2.5 marks so that means entirely the your physics paper was quite uh, easy to moderate most in most of the uh, other sessions or in the previous sessions also though in the level of difficulty of the paper was quite moderate so you can expect a moderate level of uh, difficulty in the coming examinations okay so let us begin with our next analysis that we have uh, done entire analysis is on the basis of memory based so that means if I talk about the number of questions that came from your class 12th standard, it, it is around 56%. So that means percentage is about 56 and in comparison to 11th, it is about 44. So that means uh, your class 12th has got somewhat little more edge as compared to class 11th. And it, the difference is around 6%. So that means uh, you can uh, devote your time accordingly so that in, so that means there is not much difference so you should focus on each and every chapter of class 11th as well as 12th at the same time because most of the questions uh, that comes in your examinations uh, it comes from whole syllabus so you just you must remember you have to focus on the entire syllabus in order to score very well in your examinations okay so next level of analysis is the difficult questions the difficulty level of the questions so as you can see 23 percent of the questions was quite easier and four percent of the questions was difficult and the moderate level questions was around 73 percent even if you focus on the moderate level of questions as well as easier sections still you have the chances of scoring very well in your examinations because you can easily score about uh, 95 percent of the entire questions so if I talk about easier sections, so that means easy questions came from uh, direct based NCRT based questions, they are factual based questions and they are uh, knowledge based questions. And your moderate level questions are application based which involves only one concept and your difficult level questions are analytical based questions which involve multiple concepts. So these difficult level questions, the difficult questions uh, percent is quite low. So you can neglect these the very difficult sections of the entire 11th as well as 12th in order to score very well in your examinations. Okay, so next level of uh, analysis that we have done is how many questions came from different section in class 11th. As you can see from units and measurement dimensions, uh, one question came from dimensions from motion in a plane, one question came from projectile motions. Again, uh, one question do come, one question do come from your units and measurements in different days of your examinations. So you, so you can expect the questions from these sections in your coming days. So you must remember, in uh, the projectile motion questions came from uh, motion in a planes, and the vectors questions do come in this chapter also. You so the, you must go through that topic as well. Okay, in laws of motions, two questions came from the tension in the strings and the tension in the elevator strings. So the laws of motion portion has got higher weightage in this paper as compared to the other rest of the other uh, rest of the other chapters. In work energy powers, the question came from work energy theorem. One question, and in system of particles and rotations, the one question came from radius of gyration. Okay, the paper. Uh, if I talk about this rotation chapters, the question do comes in the form of uh, inertia. So that means you have to find out the uh, the uh, uh, you have to find out the inertia of any particular body. Okay, and radius of gyration questions also do come in your examinations. Rest in gravitations. Uh, the question came from acceleration due to gravity with height one question in came in mechanical properties of solids extension in the vertical road questions came and in the thermal properties of the matter thermal expansion questions came and kinetic theory kinetic uh, the one question came from kinetic theory of the gases and in oscillations periodic oscillation of the spring system one question came from that particular chapter okay in waves wave equation do comes 
okay you must remember in waves and oscillations one questions do comes from uh, your uh, 11 standards which comprises of uh, superposition of the waves also okay so the questions you can expect uh, the similar types of the questions as these in your coming examinations okay so what about the percentage as you can see lola motion percent uh, percentage is about 17% and in, in comparison to the your 11th uh, slippers motion motion in a plane it comprises of 9% units of measurement it is quite easier to solve it is about 9% okay system of particle 8 gravitation 8 and rest 888 um, that means one question came from each sections okay so in comparison to the uh, your entire 11th standard the lola motion has got more weightage in this paper only okay you can uh, similar you can expect the uh, similar uh, type of pattern in your coming examinations okay what about your class 12th uh, uh, what about your class 12th whole uh, slippers so if you if you can see so many questions came from electrostats and magnetism as you can see electric charge uh, coulomb's one question came from coulomb's law and one question came from your energy conservation that is electric potentials and one question uh, two questions came from your current electricity which comprises of resistance or uh, in cylindrical wire and electric circuits electronic circuits okay Mo in moving charge and magnetism two questions came from magnetic field strength in on a circular axis and the force between the two parallel wires mind you these questions were quite easier okay if you know the formulas of ma magnetic field strength on a uh, current carrying circular wire on an axis and at the center you can easily solve this questions okay and what one, uh, one question came from electromagnetic inductions so that means you have to find out the emf in a circular wire again alternating uh, in alternating current one questions came from finding the bandwidth and quality factor and in electromagnetic waves electric and magnetic field relation question scheme and in ray optics lens combination question scheme and in wave optics polarization scheme question came and wave optics also uh, the superposition of the wa uh, waves or uh, young's double slit and single slit experiment questions do come in your examinations so you can similarly expect the questions from those areas also at the same time okay in dual nature of radiations phot photoelectric uh, effect question scheme and in nuclei the radioactivity series question scheme and your semi in se semiconductor photodiodes as well as in communication system am modulation question do comes okay so if if you if you can see the entire in slebus of your class 12 your electrostats uh, as well as your current electricity as well as your uh, as well as your magnetism comprises of a larger chunk in this particular uh, paper so that means you can focus on these areas and you can expect similar results the uh, similar pattern in your coming examinations okay so so if i'll talk about the uh, what are the things that you can learn from this particular pattern of the chapter so the, as you can see you can learn uh, that the whole syllabus is very much important so you cannot neglect one particular topics or two particular set of topics so that means um, um, at least one questions do comes from each topics in your 11th uh, uh, standards uh, the fluid question didn't come because uh, as of now whatever set of questions we have got it was memory based so on the basis of that we have analyzed uh, the whole paper and we can conclude that you can uh, very much uh, neglect the difficult portion of the paper because it comprises of only 4% of the entire slebus okay you can uh, easily focus on the less effort high scoring areas like uh, measurement like uh, your uh, in in class 12 standard like your modern physics which comprises of weightage so that means you can focus on these areas which are less effort and high scoring areas okay you can stick to the hot topics of your class 11th and 12th in order to score very well in your examination especially if you have a moderate level of preparation okay i hope this session is of beneficial for you in your coming examinations thank you